I want to start just by thanking Senator Cornyn for that last question because I think it's a really pressing issue that uh, deserves your focus. Uh, Lieutenant General Hawk, um, this has been covered a little bit, but I want to return to it and just make sure I, I understand uh, your plan for moving forward. Uh, a number of pre-hearing questions asked about seven, Section 702 FISA collection and the, the compliance regime that NSA has in place for its Section 702 collection authorities um, to ensure the protection of U.S. persons in particular. So in your answers, you largely deferred to the current NSA leadership, uh, stating that you have limited familiarity with the issue in your current role with CyberCom. And I have to say, I, I don't view that answer as, as good enough. Uh, I'm disappointed. Um, NSA very much depends on FISA's Section 702 authorities to collect the communications of critical foreign intelligence targets throughout, um, located outside of the United States, who use our U.S. infrastructure and services to communicate. And especially with 702's expiration looming, it would simply serve you well as the nominee to lead the NSA to demonstrate more than a limited familiarity with those procedures and compliance governing the protection of America's, uh, Americans' data. So I would just ask for your commitment to expedite that process, to become very familiar with that compliance regime as you seek the uh, confirmation. Senator, I, I absolutely agree with you that this is the priority issue in terms of being able uh, to understand to in a, a granular level of detail how this is conducted. If confirmed, this is my first priority to right. be able to understand that. I'm glad to hear that. Um, I'm going to pop over to you, Mr. Casey, very quickly. And, um, you know, I, I certainly don't have to tell you about the importance of promoting supply chain security for increasing American competitiveness, for driving innovation. What's the role of the NCSC in preventing and mitigating foreign state or even non-state actors from compromising U.S. supply chains? Thank you for the question, Senator. NCSC plays, it's one of the major roles that NCSC has. I mean, the entire directorate is dedicated to supply and cyber uh, uh, chain issues. Um, and as I mentioned, particularly on the cyber supply chain, it's one of the DNI's highest priorities moving in. Um, for me, where I'm fortunate enough to be confirmed to move into this job, um, the NCSC is the lead for supply chain issues for the IC and throughout, uh, frankly, the United States government. Having said that, there's a lot of players in this space. And so an important part of that is coordinating the efforts, ensuring that lessons learned are shared among the agencies and sometimes with the private sector. So. Talk a little bit about that. How, how do you plan to make sure that NCSC keeps ahead of advancing technology uh, in order to provide threat awareness information to industry and, for that matter, federal and other partners. Thank you, Senator. Um, first, with the caveat that I, as, as I've not been confirmed, I'm not deeply versed in the NCSC's current efforts. But I think the, the single biggest question is understanding what the current efforts of the United States government and various different parts of it are. DOD has a number of efforts ongoing. Other parts of NSA has, has efforts ongoing. I think there's a should be a big effort in understanding what the waterfront looks like at the moment and ensuring that we have adequately covered it. Um, frankly, if I'm lucky enough to be confirmed, I'd like to come back to you with a better answer of the next two or three steps we could take. Well, we'll look forward to that. Uh, thank you very much, Chairman.